2020 has been a busy year for the Florida Department of Transportation's State Road 388 four-lane widening project. Contractors began roadway foundation work that included placing lime rock over a stabilized subgrade base. Lime rock is the final layer placed before laying asphalt on the road surface. Much of the construction work along the four-mile project in 2020 included placement of 11 miles of stormwater drainage pipes located beneath the roadway surface. This stormwater drainage system will channel excess rain and groundwater away from roadway surfaces and into one of eight stormwater ponds. Construction of all eight ponds was completed in 2020. In addition, riprap, or crushed rock of various shapes and sizes, was placed around each pond to aid in erosion control and help minimize birds from nesting in close proximity to the airport. Throughout 2020, five surcharge embankment areas were under construction. The large earth mounds function to ensure roadway foundations are built on solid ground, providing safe travel to motorists. You may remember thousands of pink utility flags this spring near the entrance to Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport. The flags represent approximately 42,000 wick drains, or very tall drainage pipes, where underground water could exit, allowing the settlement process to accelerate and shorten the time for soil compression. In the fall, crews began removing the excess soil from these surcharge embankment areas because the Future Roadways Foundation had met strict engineering criteria. Construction of the new Crooked Creek Bridge began in 2020 with test pile driving operations. Test pile driving operations aid in determining when the earth is capable of supporting its weight without further settlement. Once this is determined, permanent pre-stressed concrete pile driving operations will begin. The piles will provide foundation support for the twin 720-foot bridges. You can follow State Road 388's construction progress on Facebook and Twitter, or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 Public Information Office.